Okay, hey guys, it's Elliot, and you're watching my first year on T. So, I fucked up. I didn't do it on the right date, but I'm coming with a video now. Um, so I kept my promise from the last video, even if I, like, <laughs> didn't. I will see you guys in two weeks. I pinky fucking promise. But, I'm still making a video. I'm just a little bit late. But, that's okay. I'm here now. So, this week, we're talking about sex. Um, so... Let's just get into it. We'll talk about sex. So, uh, the year leading up to me going on T, I had, like, zero sex drive. And this was a big change. I used to have a really, like, high sex drive or, like, average sex drive. Um, plenty of sexual attraction or whatever. Um, and I would, you know, masturbate, like, on a normal basis. Um, and then right when I was starting to feel more dysphoric, even though I didn't know it was dysphoria yet, I, like, it kind of dropped off. Like, I literally, like, never wanted to have sex. Like, I couldn't stand the thought. Like, I just never had any drive to. I really thought that I could be ace, um, asexual, because I just had no interest, um, in sex anymore and it was just really weird because I had before so I was confused like what was changing and then I figured out that I was trans and um, I still kind of didn't connect the dots I was just like oh well like I just have a low sex drive then like this can happen like when you get older like blah 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 even though I was only 22 like <laughs> um, and then I kind of slowly figured out, like, hey, maybe it's because I can't stand the thought of using this body that's female in my eyes um, to have sex. Like, maybe I can't even think about, uh, like, being naked because I hate my body and it reminds me that I'm not a guy. Like, I finally, like, had that epiphany um, and it took a while. I was like, oh, okay, well, like, I'm not ace, I'm just trans and hate my body and hate how I look and am miserable right now, So and I'm depressed, so of course I have no sex drive whatsoever. Um, so going on T, that kind of continued um, until I started to really pass and like really feel the changes. So maybe about like four months on T, um, my sex drive kind of, like, went back up to, like, normal. And I'm hesitant to say that T made my sex drive increase because obviously I've had an increase in my sex drive from now compared to a year ago when I was depressed and never wanted to have sex. Um, but I don't think that was necessarily testosterone making me, like, this horny teenage boy, I think that's me becoming more comfortable and, like, having the sex drive that I, like, would have had if I was a guy, like, in the first place, <laughs> um, if that makes sense. So, I mean, now I have a pretty, like, decently high sex drive, and, um, yeah, I mean, that's basically the change. Like, I'm really glad that happened because, um, I like sex and, um, I never really lost the sexual attraction, even though I thought I was ace. Like, I just, like, couldn't, like, bring myself to, like, want to have sex or feel comfortable having sex. Um, but now I do, and, um, it's really nice, obviously. And it's just really nice to feel comfortable, even though I don't, I haven't had top surgery or bottom surgery, not that I want that, but, like, even though I still kind of have, like, the same, like, body that I had before, all the changes from T have just made me, like, so much more comfortable and, like, make me feel like a man, um, so much so that now I feel comfortable being naked with my partner even though I don't have top surgery or even though I don't have a dick, like, I can still feel comfor comfortable having sex and being sexual and I'm so glad that my sex drive is back because that whole year of being depressed and not having sex and not wanting to have sex um, was kind of sad and I, you know, I'm happy that T kind of gave me my confidence and like the feeling of being comfortable back um, 
in terms of that. Um, another thing to note, I know a lot of trans mask people or trans guys, at least that I've talked to and that people I know have talked to, um, have said that they really need to use like a strap on um, to feel comfortable during sex, which is totally fine. But I just wanted to share my experience in that a strap on makes me more dysphoric. And I think it's because it kind of reminds me that I don't have a dick. Um, so using a strap on feels very fake to me and it feels very like foreign. Like it's this like phantom limb thing like just on me especially because um I can't like feel it do anything like a, when you have a dick and you have sex like your dick like feels sensations but like when you wear a strap on like you don't feel the strap on whereas like if you have sex other ways like you can feel what's going on so I, for me Using a strap-on just reminds me of everything that I don't have, and it makes me kind of uncomfortable and dysphoric, um, which I know isn't maybe the common experience for trans mask people, um, but that's how it is for me, and I, I just thought I would share that. I know some people are a little uncomfortable with the topic of sex, but um, I think it's perfectly healthy and natural, and, you know, um, as long as you're not hurting anybody, uh, you know, have sex, you know, do what makes you comfortable, and, uh, yeah, that's all I have to say on the topic. So, with that, I am gonna go, uh, a little update, I am almost 11 months on T, which is weird, it's crazy, um, I can't believe that. Uh, I also am having my top surgery consult in one month, so I'm super excited about that, and I will keep y'all updated. Peace.